What's going on, brews? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Hottest Cards of the Week. We're going to get into the Hottest Cards of the Week in just a second. However, I need you to indulge with me because I got some stuff I want to show you guys real quick. There's a fish tank. That's not it. Check this out right here. Let's see, top to bottom. They say you haven't made it as a Pokemon TCG content creator until you acquire a sleeve blister display. That's right, and that's not any sleeve blister display. I believe that's a Scarlet and Violet 151, so it's actually like a mini tin display. But yeah, I guess how much I paid for this. Zero dollars and zero cents. Um, yeah, and I took a black Sharpie and I made it all perfect. Like I got like all the little cardboard stuff out of there. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my God. Look at that horsey. Oh, I like that horsey. Okay, check this out. And I just threw some crap on here. Here's a Florigato, Florigato collection box. Yeah, no Meows Garado, that's an error box. Uh, Unigaba Eevee collection box that Brian gave me that I may or may not give away during Christmas, we'll see. But then here's one more thing, real quick. Zelda, say hi. Okay, guess what? You made it to the video. This is the video that if you are subscribed to Mimic Brew, you leave a like and you comment one of the following three keywords, you will be entered to win a Dragonite B. Altart from Evolving Skies, PSA Mint 9. All you have to do, guys, is write either one of these words, Valleywide, Derpy, or Derpy Q. As long as you try, I will notice and I will add your comment into this giveaway. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna choose four winners, okay? The first winner, the first comment I pick is winning this beautiful $180 slab. Second, third, fourth, you're getting Derpy Qs. And guess what, guys? I'll be on Rob Does Pokemon, yeah, tonight, Friday, right after I upload this video, I'll be on Rob Does Pokemon, and I'll be giving away this chandelier, Derp Q. All right, last thing I wanna show you guys, real, 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 real quick, up here. Gary, King Pokemon, what's going on, Bruce? That's me, he said my line. That's me, that's Gary, yes. TCG Topia, all right, let's get to hottest cards of the week. Don't let your dreams be dreams. We have entered a new era. 1999, 2016, 2021, in 2025. Yeah, it's 2024, but I think it'll be remembered for 2025. 10 years from now, guys, I think that they will remember the era that we have just embarked on. This, I, ha I hesitate to use the word bubble. But 1999, huge bubble. 2016, a bubble. 2021, big old COVID bubble, okay? But 2025, the writing is on the wall. From surging sparks in 2024 to start it off early, to prismatic evolutions. I really hope you guys got your Pokemon Center ETB. I had a hell of a time getting my only two ETBs this morning. <laughs> but guys... Glory of Team Rocket, and then To Be Determined, Trainers, Pokemon set, all of this leading into a new era in the 30th anniversary in the beginning of 2026. This era, starting with Surging Sparks, will be remembered. This is different, okay? This is new territory. Okay, and guys, let's get into Hottest Cards of the Week, but real quick. Lechonkamania, oh my god, Lechonkamania, congratulations, you won a Derpy Cube from the last video, and uh, don't worry, I know, you don't you don't want a Halloween-themed limited Derpy Cube, you want a Lechonk Derpy Cube, so I got you, and uh, once again, I will be on Rob Does Pokemon tonight, probably right now, if you are, are watching this video one hour after it's posted, but uh, let's get in to this week's hottest cards. All right, so last week was very Scarlet and Violet 151. That was that was last week. This week is Paldean Fates. Well, actually, I'm not gonna lie. It's still Scarlet and Violet 151. But the Mew, Bubble Mew, it is. It, it, I cherry picked a few of these cards that are gonna be at the end of the video when we recap and update all of last week's hottest cards and that that board. But so many of those cards are up even more this week, so we have to look at the graphs. Mew EX, Bubble Mew, Paldean Fates. This is the chase card by far from Paldean Fates, and it is up to 169.39, guys, with an average daily sold of 14. I'm going to pull back to the one year, and yeah, there you go. Look at that. So this, by the way, is the most exquisite, high-class, most prestigious derpy card there is, okay? We love this card. Oh my god. What's PSA 10? Like 600 bucks now? All right, let's move it on. 
So here's the other one. Here comes second place for Paldean Fates. Charizard EX SIR. $137.16 now, guys. Let's pull this one back real quick. That was an average daily sold of 14 on the one month. So it came out of the gates at 180 Went all the way down. Floated about around 100 110 forever. And but here we are now. Woo! 137 16 And in my opinion, this is better than Sunzard, uh, Chonky Boy. And yeah, yeah, we'll see. I, it'd be very interesting to see in the long run. Because Chonky Boy is coming down, and this guy is going up. Paladin Fates is looking good. All right, let's move it on. So, we talked about this last week, so you'll see this in the recap when I speed through the recap later. But it went up big time. Big, even more big time. It went up to 50, it's over 50 bucks is what I'm trying to say. Up 64% on the one month. And let's look at the one year, because it's going to look like kind of a flat, yep, it's going to look like a flat line, and then a hoo-hoo. So there you go. Uh, yeah, so last week's best deal banger was any one of these guys, any one of these Pokemon Center stamp ETBs under $20. Like, if you can get under 20 that's a best deal banger. All right, that's an investment. That's a raw card investment advice for you. $53 for the Paldea Evolved ETB Pikachu promo. Charizard V-Star from the UPC. I graded and sold so many of these last year, um, including a sequential set of Gem Men 10s that ended in serial number 48, 49, 50, and God, I want that back. I take the $400 back, give me those three slabs back. Uh, this card is $23.63. There's the one year for you. It was an $8 card not too long ago. It was a $12 card not too long ago. And let's pull back to the one month. It was a $14 card three weeks ago. Okay, 24 bucks. All right, 24. Uh, the other two are, you know, 17 and like seven. Okay, they're not they're not popping off doing anything crazy. But yeah, this UPC. Oh man, everyone said you can't invest in it. There's too many. And it's what three years, two years later. Like it's not that much time later, and it that thing's like 200 bucks already. The whew. All right, alt arts. So we gotta got talk about that. Anytime you're in a bubble, all the popular cards that everyone loves that are, mm -hmm, they go up. We're in a bubble. I don't want to call it a bubble because I think bubbles are, they, when you say bubble, it means it's doomed to be popped. Where if this bubble that we're currently entering does pop, I think it ain't popping for a year and a half to well after <clears throat> the 30th anniversary is over. Like maybe summer of 2026 is when things are going to calm down. All right, anyway, so Gengar VMAX, $334.86. I'm going to go straight to the one year. So you can see the the actual Sword and Shield bubble, which makes shark fins on every graph associated. But let's pull it back because we need to see how it's recovered since then. So it's 307 in July, and we're up to 335. But on the one month, you can clearly see on October 5th, 313. And here we are, uh, you know, November 1st, 334, with a beautiful little healthy recovery and setting some new, uh, you know, it's setting a lot of support down here in the lower 300s. So it's probably a good buy in the lower 300s. Yeah, especially with that upside. All right, Gengar. Another one. Taina. We all know about the Conda. Okay. The artwork, Shinji, Conda. Oh my god. 370. Here's your one month from 325. This is actually a... A bigger move than Gengar V Max, absolutely. There's your little sword and shield bubble shark fin, and you can see it hit a low of what, what was that? About 326, something like that. Let's make it easier on me. 326, I had it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, so 326, and we're up to 370. Looking good. If you want to look at the six month real quick, see that little bounce right there at that 325 mark. There you go, and it has an average daily sold of only one. It's a very expensive card. I'm not surprised. Wait, 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 wait. Is that on the one month? No, that was on the six month. It has an average daily sold of two. Two on the one month. There we go. So it's picked up a little. <laughs> All right, Charizard V, the Altar, Brilliant Stars. It's doing a little bit. It's doing a little better. This card's never doing good, but it's doing, it's like it's always recovering. So it's at 130. It's up to 142. Pull it back a little because it did get to 123. So from 123 couple months ago up to 140 looking good charizard v i mean looking okay charizard v everyone thinks it should be a 200 i mean technically the artwork is is standard canto basic chat as you can get like if you want to appeal to people and make a charizard and a venusaur fight each other and yet somehow it's still not back up to 200 
Interesting. Magikarp. Peladeer. The Peladeer Evolved Magikarp is up from 105-ish to 131, and its high is like, what, 158 or something like that? 150 on the dot? Let's take a look. 150 on the dot, yeah. Okay. So its high is 150 on the dot. There was no Paldea reprint. That was just a... That was a folktale. That was a folktale. A Paldea folklore. Uh, but yeah, so 105, it's looking good. These IRs, they're just killing it. Absolutely killing it. Compared to Sword and Shield Trader Galleries. For sure. Alright, let's move it on. To Zapdos. 151, and this, uh, this guy's trailing behind the, the big boys. Trailing behind, but still looking good. So 40 on the one month up to about 50... Hit 52... Uh, take a take a six month look, you know, just floating around 36, 40 bucks, and comfortably over 50 now. Nobody's surprised. I'm just gonna move. Dude, yeah, eight, eight average daily sold. It's a lot of people's favorite artwork from the set. I, it's probably the Venusaur is mine, but then probably this one for sure. So yeah, it's looking good. Good for you, Zappy boy. Yeah, zap zap. Charmander. Charmander. So yeah, it's about to be a 50 dollar card, guys. What the hell's going on? So let's go to the one month, 35 bucks. That's what we were used to seeing. And now we're seeing 48 bucks, all right? And we'll see this card when I do the recap later because this card's been going up. It's been on my list for like freaking two straight months. But Charmander, it's almost 50 bucks. 50 bucks, 50 bucks. Squirtle, where you at? And Squirtle's at almost 40 bucks. 40 bucks, Squirtle. 40 bucks, 40 bucks, Squirtle. They both have 11 and 12 daily sold on the one month. I forgot to mention that about Charmander. But uh, yeah, Squirtle's doing good. Uh, and then Bulbasaur, I believe, was like 34 bucks or 32 bucks. So, you know, Bulbasaur will be on here next week. <laughs> I love Bulbasaur. I think Bulbasaur is my favorite of the three. Squirtle Squad is Squirtle Squad. All right, speaking of Squirtle Squad, Blastoise, Blasty Boy Full Art, is uh, cracked over $20 for the first time since release? Yeah, almost. Well, no, I guess in February. But yeah, it went way down for a while. Let's take a look at that six month. Hit a low of 15 bucks. But on the one month, it is up from 15 bucks to 20 bucks. So that's a 32%. Huh, I must be bad at math because I figured that would have been a different percentage. Whatever. Yeah, hey, it's doing good. It's a full art and it's over $20. And it has nothing to do with playability. It's just that damn good of a set. Steelix. Steelix is up over $20. Also, Steelix is worth more than Iron Valiant EX SIR now, guys. Steelix is honestly a lot cooler. It's weird because Steelix and Onyx are so similar, yet I think Steelix is so cool, and I don't give a shit about Onyx. Uh, let's look at the one year, because yeah, this thing did a big thing. 26 is its high, but again, it went down to 17 on the one month, crack back over 20. That's 20 percent. You see, it's just it, it's going up, and down, but it's it looks like it's he here. Here we go. There's there's a good little look for you. It went here, but now it's uptrending, healthily uptrending little bit at a time good for you steelix really cool awesome artwork it's a possum bud apparently that guy the guy up here waving at the top that's a possum bud all right good ghastly 25 bucks so it's been a while since this card's been 25 bucks i guess the pumpers just gave up on pumping it uh but yeah hit a high of a lot higher than what you see there but it registered as 33 on the one month 19 and eh, 20 bucks it's up to 25, almost 26 bucks. Greninja. Greninja. This guy, the Shred Fable, Shred, Shred, Shred Fumble, Shred, Shred Fable, whatever. Shredded Fumble. Wait. Shrouded Fable uh, promo in Kingdra, the, the two best cards from the set. Thir so what, what, here's what's impressive about this card. That it came out around 10 or 12, and rather than tank 25% like you would assume, it's actually going up in value. So let's pull it back just a little. So yeah, it tanked at eight and you would have figured it would have stayed there, right? With all the PSA copies hitting and getting flipped, yada, yada, yada. But no, it uh, it, it, it was eight and now it's 1330. So it's doing very well. Um, yeah, so yeah, good for you, Greninja. Greninja, this promo box is doing great. The Kingdom Run is doing okay. Um, they're not losing value. They're steadily apparently gaining value. All right, and here's another SVP. This is the last card we're going to look at before we recap everything and, and do a little speed run, and then we get out of here, and then I'll see you guys in Rob Does Pokemon. Uh, so the next one is uh, this beautiful Mew. We started with Mew, and we're ending with the Mew. Oh, my gosh. Um, yeah, so 
the 151 UPC MIUI X <clears throat> is $9.92 with an average daily sold at 28. Holy shit. Damn. That's actually a lot for just a promo. I mean, wait, is, they use it in decks. Like there's a MIUI deck, right? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. But yeah, 28 average daily sold uh, on the one here. That's uh, just a little. So $5, there you go. So you can see it's about a $5 card. Kind of was just a 4 or $5 card. No, 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 no. You know, beautiful artwork, beautiful everything, but it's a shame because it's a promo, so it's 5 bucks. Well, guess what? Enough time goes by and people start, stop caring about that shit. All right? Because demand is demand, and this card is demanding. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's up quite a lot. 41% on the one month. Let's get in to last week's hottest cards, and then let's get out of here. All right, here we go. So Charmander and Squirtle, we already covered those at the beginning of the video. They're both at all-time highs. Charmander PC promo from Obsidian Flames, $73.19. That's an all-time high. Dragonair IR, also, there's so many SV 151 cards. $25.51, that's an all-time high. I think I will just name this week's hottest cards all-time highs. Yeah, it's a lot. Charizard EX Full Art, $41.17. It could be green. I made it yellow because it wasn't that big of a jump up at all. Six cents. Charizard EX SIR, Chunky Boy, Sunzard, down twice in a row. That means I'm technically supposed to knock it off the list, and it's not supposed to be here next year, so I'm going to knock it off the list unless it goes up a little. Snorlax PC Promo, $98.22. All time high. Umbreon VMAX, Evolving Skies, Alt Art. We looked at that. Did I look at that or I did, totally forgot? Who cares? It, it's up another 20 bucks, okay? Uh, 1047 07 All right, Charizard EX SIR uh, from Obsidian Lames. $55.58, up a little, but basically sideways. That's why it's yellow. Walking Wake EX, uh, coming in uh, a month and a half going up yeah but it's 57 37 so it's down a little uh, i'm probably gonna knock that one off unless anything happens with that deerling is actually back up to 10 46 and sawsbuck i didn't look at it left it off but sawsbuck is also ten dollars and something cents now so they're both matching up in that double digit price range for temporal forces vaporeon vmax uh the sword and shield box promo that's 41 bucks that's two yellows in a row that means uh, it's going uh, bye bye and then we have Magikarp IR. I already looked at that. 131. Tyranitar IR down just a little. 42 bucks, 25 cents. Nine Tails Full Art down uh, you know, almost two dollars, 15. So you know, probably see you later. Pikachu PC promo. That's the card we started with, didn't we? Yes, we did. All time high. Pikachu Grayfell hat. 150. 150. Pikachu Grayfell hat. 150 guys. And that's uh, for a month now. It's been back on this weekly weekly uh episodes uh pikachu ir 26 bucks all time high blastoise sir 72 up just a little but it ain't up over 77 so you know sideways venusaur uh, up just a little they're matching up with each other around that 70 to 75 dollar range mu ex sir we already talked about that 170 ralts ir 17 dollars 45 cents up just a little drowsy ir from the same base set 13 dollars and five cents foy coco $12.95, down just a little. That's red. Spregatito, same thing, down just a little, also red, $12.64. Gloom IR, one of my favorite IRs of all time, is at an all-time high again. Yeah, Obsidian Flames. Groudon, from Paradox Rift, up a dinky dinky amount to 60 bucks. It's definitely been higher. Greninja EX, SIR, it's, yeah, it's sideways, 315. Squirtle IR. I made a typo. It says SV-151. That is supposed to say Stellar Crown. The Squirtle and the Bulbasaur. These are both the Stellar Crown, not the SV-151 IRs. My bad. But Stellar Crown Squirtle is $42.49. And Stellar Crown Bulbasaur is up to $37.39. Again, that's Stellar Crown Squirtle and Bulba. Okay? Now, Armor Mewtwo SM-228 promo guys this you know it was on my list for like three straight months and i finally knocked it off well guess what last night if you follow me on instagram you saw i paid 25 dollars raw for a very clean copy 25 dollars on halloween night for a mewtwo dressed essentially in the coolest halloween costume ever all right that's all I got, guys. That's uh, That does it for Hottest Cards of the Week. Um, please go ahead and check out Rob Does Pokemon. I have no idea. Well, I have a small idea what we're going to talk about. And once again, if you would like to win the Dragonite Altart PSA 9, all you have to do is type in the comment section, Valleywide, Derpy, or Derpy Cube.
And like and comment. And subscribe. Deuces. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it!